Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nakiato here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be slightly different than normal. This video is for all of you streamers. All of you that have aspirations of being the next big Twitch or YouTube gaming personality. Now, uh, hold on. We don't judge here. Your blood can be purple. Your blood can be red. Either way, doesn't matter to me. Now stop bickering and fighting like little children. Ah, all about which platform is better. Jesus. All right. So today I'm going to cover visualizers. Kind of like that one right there. That sweet visualizer. You like that? I hope you like that. It took forever to figure out how to do that because nobody has guides on how to do it. Well, a couple, not not too many. Uh, but that's why I'm here today to show you how to do this. It's fast, simple, easy, and you don't have to set it up every goddamn time. Unlike programs like Winamp. Now, if you've ever used Winamp before, you'll know you'll run into issues like, but not limited to, it having to or having to set up the settings every single time you open it because for some reason after you get everything set perfectly exactly how you want it it's just like no nah, man you know the settings that you set up for me before fuck those things i'm gonna re i'm gonna set back to default god damn it <laughs> and then uh the other issues you'll run into are things like it not picking up your auxiliary or your desktop audio. So you have to use a slash command that only works half the goddamn time depending on your audio setup. Uh, feeding your audio or feeding your music into your computer via the auxiliary input only to have reverb on your stream. All frustrating crap. Why isn't there a program that just captures your desktop audio? Now let me show you how to set it up. It's it's really simple. You just need three three things. You need a second monitor. I know a lot of you are just like, God damn it! But you need a second monitor. Now you can go pick up a second monitor. Super, super cheap. Just get like one of the old VGA ones and throw that on there too. It's just something to d display chat so you can still watch chat and have this. Um, that's only if you don't have a second monitor yet. Most streamers already have a second monitor you can pick one of those up for like 15 bucks they're super super cheap now um and then uh you're gonna need a program called rain meter rain meter what is rain meter rain meter is a skinning program for windows it uh it takes things like your cpu usage or custom skins and puts it over windows uh, so that you have a personalized desktop and it's pretty cool it's a nice little program now one thing that it has is visualizers and then the third thing you're gonna need is the actual visualizer now the reason why I'm separating that from rain meter is because you'll have to go to something like deviant art and look up different visualizers to then install onto rain meter kinda like that one right there uh, now I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up after you've downloaded everything that you want now when it comes to the visualizers just go to like Google and search rain meter vis visualizer and it'll the first link will just have a bunch of different visualizers it's really simple in fact I'll include the link to that main even art page down in the description below along with the rain meter download now ah, now that was a lot of talking let's get to actually showing you how to do this so we'll go ahead and hide that we don't need that anymore in fact we'll remove it because I have to show you how to set that up and delete yes delete that display capture now we'll go ahead and show my laptop because my laptop does not have rain meter installed yet now when we go to rain meter uh, I'm gonna pause well yeah after we go to rain meter we'll just run that eh? Okay, install, uh, yes, install, uh-huh, yep, and finish. And rain meter is installed, like literally, it's that simple to install rain meter, it's kind of nuts. Now, you're going to get all kinds of skins like this on your desktop, 
Uh, this is just the basic skins, so we're just going to go ahead and unload skin. Any one of them that you don't want, you can right click on, click unload skin, and it'll do so pretty easily. So we'll just unload all of those because we don't need them. Now, you get rain meter from rainmeter.net. Like I said, I'll include that down in the description. And the one that we're installing today is going to be this one right here. This is the Fountain of Colors desktop music visualizer. Okay. Uh, and when you go to DeviantArt, and I know it can be kind of confusing, like, where the hell? Okay, so it tells you how to install. Now where's the actual download? And you're freaking out, like, where the hell is this shit? You look on the right hand side right here that's where the download is then just click that download link you're good to go so we'll just go ahead and minimize that we have rain meter installed now let's install the fountain of colors uh sure install and done now this is just the thing that allows you to uh to change its settings and whatnot uh, which is really nice when they add something like this on there so that you can pick the particular colors that you want and all of that jazz. Um, we'll just close that. We don't really need that. Now, the, the skin is already live. It's already active. And the way to double check to make sure it is, if you go down into the system tray and right click on rain meter, because it'll be down there, um, we can, oh, not right click. Let's just go system tray, rain meter, double click, and then uh, it displays right here all of your all of your skins. Now Fountain of Colors is the one that we just installed, and it's right there. You know, pretty pretty straightforward. Now for all of you coder type people that really like to dick around with settings and all of that jazz there's one thing that's kind of annoying about most rain meter skins uh, to resize them you have to do that manually and the way that you do that is you click edit right there and this is edit right there and it'll bring this up now you can dig through the settings in here and it'll allow you to change particular things. Now each one of these is different from every other visualizer. Like this will change some things, this will change other things, like it's, it's kind of annoying. Um, but if you know how to code, you can figure that stuff out pretty easily. Even with like minimal skills on my end, I was still able to figure it out to set mine up the way that I like, at least size-wise, so it doesn't take up too much space. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And I will minimize it because I want to show you guys something else too. Um, now, the audio is going to be off sync from what I'm currently playing, just because I'm not capturing the audio from my desktop or from my laptop. Uh, so don't be like, it's not working right. And it's working right. It's just I'm not capturing that audio. So we'll go ahead and play some music so you can actually see the visualizer is working fine. Now we can drag the visualizer over wherever we want, you know, the second monitor and all that jazz. Uh, now, after you have it positioned where you want it, if you go back to Rain Meter, and we have the Fountain of Colors selected, um, after you have it all set up where, where you want it and all that, you want to uncheck draggable and then check click through. Now the way, the reason you want to do this is just because there have been plenty of times where I alt tabbed and accidentally grabbed my visualizer and yanked it out of where it was and then I had to go back and fix it. It's fucking annoying. Um, but after you do that, you can then click through and not be able to drag your visualizer anymore. So it's basically just like your background desktop, no problem. Now, after you have that set up, one thing that you have to do is you have to make, have your background desktop set as a chroma color. I suggest black. Black is probably the best possible color that you can go for. And the way that you do that is if you right click your desktop and go to personalize, and you go right here and then under background, we select solid color, select black, and you're all set. Now we have everything that we need, we just need to chroma it out in a program like OBS or whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just stop this music, don't need that anymore, close that, and go back over to my main computer. 
<laughs> all of the stuff that I have to do to get this working right. Um, so don't need that. Turn on that and minimize that. Okay, now that we're back at my computer, what we have to do is we have to actually capture the um, the visualizer. Now, if we go to our sources, now I'm using OBS multi-platform just because I figure this is where OBS is going. I might as well get used to this. It's going to be a little bit different for regular OBS, but you should be able to figure out how to do it on regular OBS. Um, what we have to do is we have to right click and then add and we'll add a uh, display capture. Now let's just click OK and it's going to and then we have to select the monitor that we want to to capture so that'll be the second monitor or whichever one you set up with the visualizer. Now when we're capturing the second monitor we have to uh, let's go ahead and move that uh, when we're capturing the second monitor, we have to click OK on there. And then we'll go down to uh, order. No, 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 no. Properties. Yes. Properties on the display capture. Oh, not properties. Stupid. Stupid filters. Yes, filters. Frustrating. Click add. Click crop. Uh, yep. Now, depending on what your um, what the size of your monitor is, is depending on uh, what your values are going to be for this. So if you have a 19, uh, if you have a 1080p display, uh, your settings are going to look kind of similar to mine if you have your visualizer on the right hand side. So let's just for shits and giggles, let's put in 500. You see what it does right there? All right, we don't want that. What we do want is we want something kind of like my settings I have here. So we'll go with 1200 by, yeah, 1200 by 250 uh by zero by 240 yes yes those settings seem optimal for me and then we have this right here this is this is the visualizer all almost all set up and now you'll see that we just need to chroma out the background now the way that we chroma out the background is if we go ahead and right click that again it's easier to right click that go to filters click add for another filter and we'll click color key. Now chroma key seems to not work properly for this. I suggest color key. Click OK. Now we don't want green. We want custom color. Select color. Go to black because that's the background that we selected. And then boom. Yeah, see? They're right there. This is fantastic. And we can change the smoothness and all that and all, uh, everything that we want there. Click done and you'll see that we have that. It works perfectly. And then from there, after you have that all set up, you can go to something like this. Let's say this is your outro screen or your intro screen or all of that jazz. Just uh, Go to your, click on your sources, click add, uh, click display capture, and then add existing, boom. Because it saves it as a global source in OBS multi-platform. So that way we can have quick and easy visualizers for every single source or scene that we want. That's as simple as that is. Now when you close OBS and you shut down your computer and you open it back up and you start OBS again, this is all going to be set up just to how you had it last time. No screwing around with settings or anything like that. It's great. It is so nice not having to dick around with the settings every single time. Now if you have any questions about it, if you uh, if 
you couldn't figure it out um, and you need a step-by-step, -step, maybe in a slower way, a text version or whatever, go ahead and comment down in the description below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. This is Nakiato signing out. Hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever it is, you know, for you. I work graveyard, so nights and days are kind of <laughs> switched around for me. Uh, but yeah, goodbye. <laughs>